opposition vice chairperson Job Sigala, who had been locked up in remand prison for over seven months, was back in court today, where his trial on allegations of inciting public violence failed to kick off. Sikala, who looked jovial, although his eyes showed prison was beginning to take its toll on him, was sure to come back to court on January 30. Major Sitvongai Mutututi Guriro had to remand the matter after state lawyer Tendai Shonai told the court he had other matters to deal with. Sikala's lawyer Jeremiah Bamu said they were not amused because it had become the norm as the state looks to deliberately delay the trial. My Can you tell us uh, what uh, transpired in court today? We proceeded with the trial against Job Sikala in the matter in which he is alleged to have incited uh, public violence in relation to the 31 July 2020 demonstrations. The officer commanding CID Law and Order, Arara Province, the crime section of it, uh, Superintendent Tunganga was on the witness stand. He finished giving his evidence and the matter was rolled over to tomorrow for trial continuation. Mm. Sorry, or to Monday. Yes, uh, the, we, we understand when we're in court that um, there seem to be delays where the court has been rolled, rolled over to Monday when in fact we're supposed to continue after lunch and tomorrow. What is the, what is the issue? We lamented before the court the fact that the state is showing disdain or disregard for the court because we had scheduled that this matter will continue at 2.15 today. And all of a sudden the state prosecutors then came to say they have other engagements at 2.30 at so they can't sit at 2.15. So that is our worry. The state is delaying uh, the continuation or conclusion of this matter. Sikala was arrested and denied bail last year in July over allegations of inciting violence when he spoke strongly against the maid of Triple C member Mo Blessing Ali. Ali's remains are yet to be laid to rest. Sikala faces charges related to violence and his bail application after bail application have been turned down. In another case matter, Triple C spokesperson and lawyer Fanze Maire took to the stand and she mounted a defense in a case she is accused of publishing falsehoods. Appearing before Magistrate Taurai Manuere, Mahi represented video evidence of members of the public accusing a police officer of having killed a young baby after he violently smashed the window of a combi. Fanzai Mahere led her evidence and will now wait before the state to present his submission before Manuere. Lawyer David Drury addressed the press. Okay, so there was a continuation of the, um, of the defense case today and uh, the Advocate Mahari has finished giving evidence uh, in relation to that. She's been called back for purpose of cross-examination, uh, provisionally for either the first or the second. I'm sorry, I can't be any clearer than that at 9 o'clock. I have no idea when the match is going to start. It's the first time in my court experience that we've been told to come and wait uh, to be advised as to when the match will continue. So the matter is sub at the moment. Um, I can't comment on, on what I think about the case. Um, and, and so on and so forth. Triple C leaders have become a regular guest of the state at the courts and in prison. Another 25 members of the oppos opposition are in cells battling for freedom after being arrested in Budiriro for allegedly attending an illegal meeting with intentions of causing public violence. Party Vice President Tendai Biti, Lynette Karieni, Kore also have cases pending before the courts. Reporting for HSTV News, Jay Sigiti, Harare.